Rachel. I am a person with type 1 diabetes. I've been living with it for 23 years. I'm also a registered nurse and certified diabetes care and education specialist, and I help women elevate their diabetes management so that they can stop chasing their blood sugars all day and spend more time on the things that are important to them. And today we're going to talk about a phrase. A phrase is a it's one of the newer rapid acting insulins on the market and it is an inhalable insulin. So instead of injecting it into fat, which is typically how we get our insulin, um, you use a phrase by inhaling it into your lungs and your lungs have little capillaries that allow for that powdered form of insulin to enter into your bloodstream and work the same way that injected insulin does. So when you get a prescription for a Fraza, you'll get little inhalers that look like this. And you're supposed to change these out every two weeks. You'll also get some cartridges, and this is how the insulin is delivered through the inhaler. There's um, some powder, a powdered form of insulin, rapid acting insulin in those cartridges. So first I wanna to talk to you about the STAT study, which was conducted to observe the effects of a Fraza in people with type 1 diabetes. There were a lot of really exciting findings that happened during this study, including a pretty significant increase in time and range for those using a Fraza um, when compared to people using Novolog, which is the typical type of rapid acting insulin we see and prescribe for people with type 1 diabetes. A Fraza users in the study also experienced lower post-meal blood sugar spikes one to two hours after which is really users also spent less time hypoglycemic than their Novolog user counterparts. So what are the advantages of using this inhalable insulin? Personally, I use Afraza as a touch-up insulin. This is because Afraza has a much shorter tail end than injected insulin. So it enters your body super quickly, it peaks super quickly, and it leaves your body super quickly. Do you see a theme here? That being said, I didn't find it was super effective for me personally. I tend to be a bit more resistant to insulin than others, so I found that if I were using a Fraza regularly as a mealtime insulin, it didn't quite give me the coverage I needed. However, for touch-ups or corrections, I use it basically when I see a pump malfunction or I have it corrected properly or I also use it in the event that maybe I'm eating like a bread bowl or something that is mega high carb and it's going to hit me super quickly. So maybe your favorite Starbucks drink would be a good time to use a Fraza or um, basically just something that's not high in protein and fat but is pretty high in carbohydrates and it's going to hit you quickly and leave you quickly as well. Rage bolusers, I'm looking at you. This is the perfect time to use a Fraza is when you've given yourself insulin for your meal, you spike, you're hanging out in the 200 and you're sick of it and you really want to give yourself some insulin to help bring that down because you don't have time to wait for that injected insulin in your body and make sure that that was enough insulin for you to bring yourself down during that tail end. So for all my rage bulls are out there, comment down below, I live to rage because I'm right there with you. Because of the Fraza's quicker onset and shorter half-life, it's actually okay to take this insulin on top of the injected insulin that you took. An example of a touch-up that your doctor could prescribe to you might sound like this. One hour after eating, if blood glucose is between 150 and 200, a four unit touch up is recommended. If it is above 200, then eight units are recommended. If blood sugar is still above 200 after two hours, then another four units can be taken. This is actually the touch up protocol that was used in the SAT study 
and people found a lot of success using it. A phrase that may also be a really great option to correct nighttime highs so that there is a lot less risk of going low at night, especially if you are someone maybe that doesn't have a CGM or someone that has a lot more fear of low blood sugars during the night or before they go to bed. A phrase that is also very effective for people with type 2 diabetes, especially as a regular mealtime insulin, because your bodies are generally still producing some insulin and um, you may have better luck with it than maybe uh, certain people with type 1 diabetes. So it really does depend on how your body responds to insulin already. So it's a good thing to experiment with and see if it works for you. So if you're interested in talking to your doctor about getting prescribed a Fraza, I will go ahead and link the stat study in the description box below so that you can send this to your doctor and be like, hey, I'm really interested in either using this for correction or even for mealtime boluses because I feel like my body would definitely respond to it well. When I went to my doctor, I told that I was really interested in using it for a pump amount function or the mistakes maybe in a carb count and during my period when I tend to need more insulin I kind of have to stack it. So those are some ways you can kind of advocate for getting this prescribed for yourself as if you're some type 1 diabetes. I will say that a lot of insurances because it's a newer insulin and in their eyes it is somewhat of a luxury. It can be difficult to get prescribed um, or covered by your insurance company. So again, you can use this stat study to write a letter of appeal. Um, just you can reach out to me if that's something you have questions about. Also, it tends to be a bit more expensive. So I also linked the Afraza copay card in the description as well. This works for people in the United States with commercial health care. So you can use that to see if it helps bring down your okay. So what do you think? Is this something that you've used before or something you'd like to try? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to talk more about it with you. And I will see you in the next video.